How's it going, Vandals? I'm Johnny, and welcome back to Graphic Vandalism. Yep, it's new video time. This one is Future Shock, and look at five flying by the seat of your pants sci-fi action comics. As my last few vids have been all about horror and somewhat disturbing books, I thought I'd do a fun one and shake it up a bit. So I picked out five of the most fun action-packed sci-fi books I know of for this. And with that, Vandals, let's just get into it. All right, then. And first up, we have Mercury Heat, written by Kieran Gillian, with fast and flashy art by Omar Franquia and Nehul Lopez, published by Avatar Press. And right off the bat, I have to admit, this book is just crazy fun, as it somewhat feels like a gory callback to some of the sci-fi shows from when I was a kid, just with the heavy injection of Paul Verhoeven to it. The story for this one is all about Louisa, a tough-as-nails young woman who really wants to be a cop. Only problem is, she's way too aggressive to be one on Earth, so she gets sent to Mercury to be a bounty agent, and that's what passes for police in the slow-turning world of ne'er-do-wells and we join her on several assignments and it's just a total blast and i really do just enjoy louisa she is a hardcore badass but still very relatable and likable and that really helps this be one of avatar's most entertaining books ever right on and next up is one of my favorites of the past few years Cold War, written by the always on point and amazing Christopher Sabella, with far out and moody art by Hayden Sherman, published by Aftershock Comics, and dang. This book is all about one of the most brutal examples of bait and switch ever, as it's about a group of people woken from cryosleep in the future to be told they weren't getting the utopia they were promised, but instead are drafted into a never ending war. But that's just for starters. The cast of this book consists of many creepy and warped individuals. And the big twist at the end of this book is just magnificent. This book was also able to rope-a-dope me in the first issue. So Sibella gets mad props for that as it doesn't happen to me very often. Aftershock is just an incredible label. And with books like this, they really should be a label everyone should be watching. Cool, cool. How about now we hop on over to Bonehead. Written by the utterly marvelous... Brian Edward Hill, with sleek, beautiful, vivid art by Roald Marcellus, published by Images Top Cow Imprint. And oh my goodness, this book is just so wild and fun. Also, I could very easily see it as an animated series with a full action figure line. Hill and Marcellus tell a high-flying, exciting cyberpunk parkour epic that is, in my opinion, pretty one-of-a-kind in American comics. All about a utopia in peril, and the only people who can save it are the bone heads, a subculture of mask-wearing outlaws led by 56, a mute cyborg that speaks in emojis, but on the real, Pumpkin Juice steals the show in this book, and it's a really rad adventure for all age readers. I really cannot recommend this book highly enough, so check it out, yo! Super sweet! Now, let's take a look at Cemetery Beach, written by God himself, Warren Ellis, with fast breakneck art by Jason Howard, published by Image Comics, and just wow, this book does not stop. It just starts and goes and never slows down, and I just love it. A lot of Warren's newer work has been pretty moody and slow burning, but not this book. It's also so great to see this creative team work together again, as I love their book Trees. The story for this one is all about Michael Blackburn, a spy from Earth sent to an illegal off-world colony, and he has to team up with a local, Grace Moody, so he can get back to his craft at Cemetery Beach, and the two just cut a bloody path and leave chaos in their wake, and oh my gosh, it's such an amazing thrill ride. On the real, this book is a total must read. Right on. And last but should not least, we have the stark, violent, and fun Death Orb, written by Ryan Ferrier, with art by one of my new favorite names in the industry, Alejandro Argon, published by Dark Horse Comics. And damn, this book is, in my opinion, one of the best comics of 2019. It's like Mad Max if it was made in the 1970s Italian horror movie scene, with some kung fu thrown in for some extra epicness. It tells the story of the writer, a man on a mission with a severed mutant's head that psychically talks to him. But he runs into a group of people who need his help, and he has an axe to grind with the people they're up against, so he's in. And it's just so explosive and so much fun. The ninja 
totally steals the show here. But the whole cast in this book is just great. And on the real, just go buy and read Death Orb already. It's really that exceptional of a book. It is just so good, yo. Well, Vandals, there you have it. That was Future Shock. And I really hope you enjoyed it, or at least learned about a few new books from it. Please let me know what are some of your favorite sci-fi action books are in the comments down below, because I love recommendations. But for now, until next time, I'm Johnny. This is Graphic Vandalism. Don't stop reading.